This video will show you how to reprogram this amateur radio transceiver. This particular transceiver is branded as an Intec HR5500, although it's also known as an AT5555, a DX5000 and an SS6900 amongst other names. In the UK, the radio is shipped pre-programmed with the frequencies legal to the UK and the EU only. Although the radio can be reprogrammed and is actually capable of using any frequency between 25.605 MHz and 30.115 MHz, be aware that using any frequency not allocated in your country may be illegal. The reprogramming does not require any soldering or physical electronic changes to your circuit board, although you will need to unscrew and open the casing which may void your warranty. To reprogram the radio, you will need a compatible version of the reprogramming software and a specific USB cable which connects to the radio. Do not use any other type of cable other than the cable designed for reprogramming. Otherwise, you risk damaging your radio. The PC-only software is available online for free and the reprogramming cable can be purchased from most amateur radio retailers. Firstly, switch off and disconnect all cables and the microphone from the main box. Remove the two lower screws from the left hand side, two from the right hand side, and lastly, there's a fifth screw below the heatsink at the back. Before you remove the cover, be aware that the lower casing is connected to the top section by a wire which runs from the internal speaker up to the circuit board. This speaker wire easily unplugs from its socket on the circuit board and you can reconnect it later. The reprogramming cable has a white plug on the end which attaches to the circuit board on the radio. Look on your circuit board for a 3-pin white socket. There should be only one and on this radio it's labelled J504. Plug the reprogramming cable into the circuit board and then slide the bottom plate back on and screw it back together. Note there's enough of a gap between the outer casing at the rear to allow the cable to hang out of the back and permanently stay connected. And that's it for any physical changes to the radio. The rest is done with the software. With the radio turned on and the reprogramming cable connected, open the programming software. The initial screen will be blank, so from the program menu, select Read from Radio and click OK. The current setup stored on the radio will start to transfer to the programming software. During transfer, the display on the front of the radio will show PC and will say End when the transfer is complete. The programming software now has all the frequencies for each channel across all the bands that are currently stored on the radio. At this point, you should select File, Save As and save a backup copy of your factory default frequencies just in case anything goes wrong. To change the frequency of a channel, simply select one of the bands, then one of the channels, and type in the frequency you wish to use for that channel. Do this for every channel frequency you wish to change. Once all your frequencies have been entered, you can send this information to the radio by selecting Program, Write to Radio. Click OK to confirm and the transfer will start. When the transfer is done, the radio is almost ready to use, you will need to turn the radio off and on again before the new frequencies appear on the radio. And that's it. Your radio is now reprogrammed to your new frequencies and you have a copy of your original settings should you wish to convert the radio back to normal.